Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about revolutionary leaders and totalitarianism. So Miss Irene gave us a tip to easily remember the names of all the revolutionary leaders. So first of all, we took all the initials of all of the leaders. L, S, S, M, G, K. And she substituted these letters in a sentence that we could remember, which is lovely, sad, started making good karak. So that's a tip. Lenin was in Russia. His career lasted from the 1890s to 1924. His key role was the Bolshevik revolutionary and the first ruler of the communist Russia. His popular name was Father of Revolution and his goal was to promote a worldwide communist revolution led by workers. Stanley was in Russia too. His career lasted from 1890s to 1925. His key role was a dictator. His popular name was Man of Steel and his goal was to perfect a communist state in Russia by using the total Turanian rule. Sun Yushan was in China. His career lasted from the 1890s to 1925. His key role was the first president of the New Republic of China and his popular name was Father of Modern China. His goal was to establish a modern government based on nationalism, democracy and economic security. Mao Zedong was in China too. His career lasted from the 1900s to the 1976. His key role was the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. His popular name was the Great Hillsman. His goal was to stage a communist revolution in China led by peasants. Gandhi was in India. His career lasted from 1800s to 1948. His key role was the leader of the Indian independence movement. His popular name was Great Soul, and his goal was to achieve Indian self-rule through campaigns of civil disobedience. Mustafa Kemal was in Turkey. His career lasted from the 1900s to 1938. His key role was the first president of the New Republic of Turkey, and his popular name was the father of Turks. His goal was to transform Turkey into a modern nation. Ideology was to set goals of the state, glorify aims of the state, justify government actions. State control of individuals demanded loyalty, denies basic liberties, and expects personal sacrifice for the god of the state. Methods of enforcement included police terror, censorship, and persecution. Modern technology included mass communication to spread propaganda and advanced military weapons. Dictatorship and one rule party exercises absolute authority and dominates the government. Dynamic leader unites the people, symbolizes government, and encourages popular support through force of will. State control over society included business, labor, housing, education, religion, the arts, and personal life, and youth groups. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video uh, was very effective and clear for your understanding.